in this video i will show you an example of super node analysis circuit in which the circuit will contain a dependent source see with the help of nodal analysis calculate the node voltages for the following circuit see here this is our circuit the circuit contain two independent sources 5 ampere 8 ampere and a dependent source it is a voltage dependent voltage source 0.8 va va is the voltage across this 5 ohm resistor see as between this node and this node the circuit contains a voltage source without a resistor therefore this node and this node will be merged to form our super node so in our first step we have to identify the total number of node in this circuit see this will be our node number one this will be our node number two and this will be our node number three and this will be our fourth node i will assume this fourth node as our ground node or reference node therefore that therefore this node will have a voltage of zero volt see this will be our reference node and this reference node will have a voltage of v not equal to zero volt after that i will assign the node voltages in every other node except the reference node this node will have a voltage of v1 this node will have a voltage of v2 and this node will have a voltage of v3 now look at this node 2 here you will see v2 is the node voltage that means the voltage bet difference between this node 2 to this reference node here you will see the va will be the voltage drop across this 5 ohm resistor which is which is connected between this node to this reference node therefore i can write v2 will be equal to va now look at the node 1 and 3 here you will see a voltage source will be connected between node 1 and 3 therefore our node 1 and 3 will form our super node so if i take the voltage difference across the two terminals of this voltage source see as this is the positive terminal of this 0.8 va source and this is the negative terminal of this 0.8 va source this terminal will be at higher potential and this terminal will be at lower potential therefore i can write v1 minus v3 will be equal to 0.8 va the voltage difference between this terminal and this terminal will be equal to 0.8 va and this va is equal to v2 so i can write 0.8 v2 if i take all the quantities in one side i can write v1 minus 0.8 v2 minus v3 equal to zero this will be our equation number one after that i will mentally remove this voltage source and replace that with a short circuit to indicate our super node therefore our circuit will look like this see i have removed the voltage source and merged the node one and node three therefore this will be our super node in next step i will apply kcl in this super node this node has a voltage of v1 this node has a voltage of v2 this node has a voltage of v3 now i will apply kcl in super node so in super node that means this node and this node will act as a same node see here in the super node this 5 ampere current will be incoming this 8 ampere current will be outgoing and all other unknown quantities will be outgoing from our super node therefore i can write summation of incoming currents will be equal to summation of outgoing current see this 5 ampere is our incoming current as the current in this branch is unknown and the current in this branch is unknown therefore i can write 5 will be equal to 8 plus v1 minus v2 divided by 2 voltage difference across voltage difference between the two terminals of this 2 ohm resistor i have to consider that this node 1 is at higher potential than this node 2 
after that i can write the current through this 2.5 ohm resistor is also an unknown quantity therefore i can write v3 minus vo vo here equal to 0 therefore i won't write it divided by 2.5 now if i simplify this equation i can write 0.5 v1 minus 0.5 v2 plus 0.4 v3 equal to minus 3 that will be our equation number 2 after obtaining equation 1 and 2 i will apply kcl at the node number 2 to obtain our third equation see here in case of this node 2 you will see only this 8 ampere current will be incoming and all other currents will be unknown therefore i have to assume that they are outgoing from this node so i can write v2 minus v1 divided by 2 plus v2 minus v0 here v0 is 0 so i will not write it down v2 divided by 5 if i simplify this equation i will get 0 0.5 v1 plus 0 0.7 v2 equal to 8 this will be our equation number 3 now if i solve equation 1 2 and 3 i will get v1 equal to 20.27 volt v2 equal to va equal to 25.91 volt and v3 equal to minus 0 0.45 volt that's it thank you